Hello, welcome to Switched On. My name's Paul, and just wanted to have a quick look at a game I am currently reviewing called Pillars of Eternity. This came out on the Switch yesterday on Thursday. Um, this is going to be, hopefully, if I don't ramble on too much, a shorter what is video because basically, just the character creation in this game alone is so deep that it took me nearly an hour to create my character um, last night. It's such a an in-depth RPG. If you love RPG games, particularly things like old-fashioned sort of pen and paper role-playing games, this is going to be really up your alley. Um, let's go have a little um, look around, sort of show you how the the game looks and runs. So we got this sort of party system here, like RPG That's games of old. But what now? Just get through this bit of chatter. We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. The one thing that is really good in this game is the um, voice acting is excellent and the a lot of the story is delivered in this sort of heavy text fashion and there's also sort of, they're not exactly cut scenes but they have sort of pencil or pen and ink drawings uh, along with bits of story and this really, like I say, helps you get invested in the story rather than having sort of a, a cheesy or janky cut scene. It's left a lot to your imagination. There is a quite a lot of reading in the game but also it really evokes tremendous atmosphere the, the writing is really excellent and uh, i've just been enjoying the, the sort of good few hours that i've played with this so far last night and today but let's just get through this bit and get some into some action we don't want to leave too much on the screen here so it doesn't spoil too much so at the moment i'm the uh, front character there with the bow in the blue and you can using the left and right toggles you can toggle through your party characters so I think if I remember rightly, it's quite safe to go into this room. And as I say, left and right bumpers you can toggle through. This is my familiar. The character that I chose to start with starts with an animal familiar. So I picked a bear, although there are lots of different examples. You can be a wolf or you can have a lion, antelope. There's all sorts of different familiars, but I went with a bear because it looks pretty cool and suits my hunter uh, vibe that I've got going on. And then if you want to party back up again, I found... Or I don't know if this is an official control, but holding down left and right together and then sort of parties everybody back up. But also control ways, you've got the uh, trigger buttons, ZL, ZR. You get bring up this like radial menu. So this is your combat radial menu on ZR and all your different weapons and magic abilities will appear here, allow you to use those. And holding down ZL brings up more of a general radial menu. So you get access to your character sheet, uh, a map, you can camp, and there's a, actually a a formation um, option here as well to bring everybody back to a formation. Let's have a look at the character sheet. So again, you, the, the character creation was insane. The the amount of not just uh, looks wise, but the amount of detail you can go into, like backstories, heritage, um, beliefs, all these kind of things. That, that there must be tens of thousands of combinations of character that you can create. Uh, it's just absolutely excellent. And you can see all the different stats here. And then on the right-hand side there, we've got different um, sort of, again, more sort of game-based stats of enemies defeated, distance travel, that kind of thing. There's actually crafting in the game as well. So you can find um, ingredients and craft uh, meals and potions. Magic there as well. And then you've got an inventory system that you can access as well. So as I say, bring up this radio menu again, there's just so many options really is excellent. Uh, moving around, you can just use the left stick to move your character, or you can hold down the A button, although it's not gonna work in this little dungeon, but basically you can hold down the A button, it brings up a pointer, and you can move the pointer, and then when you release the pointer, the characters will move towards that, so it allows you to sort of cover long distances without having to hold down the uh, left stick. So we've got a chest here we found, we're just gonna raid that. And the box here. We're actually inside a. We've escaped into a cave at the moment, so there's not sort of. Um, you don't get to see the the outside world. To me, I personally, I've been super impressed with the graphics. They're just really, really nicely drawn. Uh, although I've seen somewhere that the ruin of Silent List was a daunting. Ah, this is another nice touch. Sorry, I just very gratifying as let this uh, see if I can stop that actually throughout the game. Okay, so I just cut that bit out. That was another nice feature in the game. It's basically a director's commentary 
or a developer's commentary, I should say. Uh, at certain points during the game, the developer will kick in and sort of explain how they designed certain parts of the game or what's happening at certain areas of the game. Just a really, really excellent feature and um, highly recommend, as long as you're not uh, making a video for other people, that you turn that on and uh, get some excellent insight into the development of this game. So this option here, click on the left stick and you can creep around. So we've got a bit of a puzzle in this dungeon here. We've got this um, sort of these lit up runes here. And uh, as we sneak up to it, it's told us that there's a trap. So if we come through here, we actually get the option to light these pillars. And so I don't want to spend too long talking about this actually. I'm getting a bit bit uh, carried away with the, the details of this game now. Just basically, it's just a really good RPG. It's a huge game. This version on the Switch includes the DLC that was released previously on the PC and I believe other consoles as well. So you can see now by doing that little puzzle, we've cleared a path. So we take our main protagonist and safely make our way across this board. Yeah, can do the same. I think we found an exit. Sounds like the storm passed too. As you see, the graphics are, are really nice as well. They're a bit sort of um, old school, but really seem to suit the Switch. And on handheld, it looks great as well. So there we go. Let's get everybody across out and party back up. Get some combat here. So we're just finished with this bit of combat and say I will be reviewing this game in more detail but in the combat system it's real time although you can activate uh, a pause system and I'm on the easier level at the moment so it actually automatically pauses when a combat situation takes place and this allows you to issue commands to each of your um, party members so if I take my main party member I can issue a command to attack this spider and then maybe I could say we could have him maybe come and help us as well. And then you can unpause and let that play out. And then once those actions are played out, the game will actually pause again. And again, you can just keep issuing commands. And there we go, We're taking care of that spider. So, I mean, combat, I've had some, um, some some obviously bigger bits of combat early in the game be sort of fighting against multiple party members of, a, of another party or creatures and uh, it just works really well you can just hold down the A button here I might do it next I'm not in target but basically it brings up like a cone in front of you and you can sort of aim it roughly in the direction of who you want to attack if you don't want to sort of micromanage each party members attacking so you can sort of just generally say right everybody attacking in this area and uh, and that works really well as well so very very early on in this game so far obviously only played sort of um four hours three or four hours or so and so an hour of that was taken just getting into the game uh creating my character and reading a bit of lore but i really enjoy what i've played so far this is up on the store at the moment it's currently on a discount i believe it's a 20 percent discount uh for the next week so even though it's released it's got a post launch discount of 20 percent and um if you were interested in this then you know, if you like RPG games, I would absolutely consider picking this one up. Um, people have said it's a little bit on the expensive side, but you know, for a game that's going to last you a hundred hours, you know, what value can you put on that? Honestly, you know, it's a, a huge amount of hours. You you pay similar for games that offer, you know, eight hours of a story and you're one and done. But this is an absolutely massive game with DLC included, so definitely worth looking at. Okay, hope you enjoyed that quick look at Pillars of Eternity on the Nintendo Switch. If so, drop the video a like and please subscribe and uh, keep an eye out for my full review of this one. Probably going to take me uh, a good week or so to get that together, but um, I will be doing a full review. Thanks again for watching and I'll speak to you later. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.